Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and a special review week. Now, this week we will be doing basically just ranking videos all this week because this is a special week. Um, this is the week of my birthday, so we'll have a special video tomorrow on my birthday. But I figured this week, because of that video, I needed to have something away from the regular schedule. So, hence the reason why this is ranking week. So, and today's video is the top 10 hypnosis scenes in movies. And I will not be doing this one alone. I will be joined by the lovely and talented Miracle Davis. I'm just kidding. Happy birthday, Matt! <laughs> well, my birthday's actually tomorrow, Miracle, but uh, I'll take the early uh, birthday wishes. Thank you. So, on with the countdown. With me, it's Bengali hypnotizes Trilby. Now in this one, Svengali tricks Trilby into letting him hypnotize her by saying he's going to cure her headache. I mean, who wouldn't want their headache to go away? But I think it's kind of creepy how his eyes go white when he's hypnotizing her. Now, don't be afraid. Look me right in the eyes, Liebchen. Right in the eye. If you can really cure my head. You shall see nothing, hear nothing, dream of nothing, but Svengali, Svengali, Svengali. 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 Bengali. Yeah. That is right, Leech. Now sleep. Sleep. Number nine is Gideon Drew hypnotizes Jessica from The Thing That Couldn't Die, 1958. Now, this is almost a scene that I have to go to to get it all um, because Gideon goes after Linda first. Makes a little tap on the window. She looks out. She's hypnotized by him. She becomes his loyal servant then. And for the rest of the movie, in multiple scenes, Linda is trying to lure her to take off the pendant that protects her. Unfortunately, she does end up taking that pendant off because her dumbass boyfriend wants to um, do a little research on it. And Linda takes advantage of this by presenting Gideon's head in a hat box. It's a great sequence. Open it. <laughs> Don't you like it? Yes, Linda. 
I like it very much. Oh gosh, we've got big trouble in Little China. I'm just kidding. It's actually the name of the 1986 classic starring Kurt Russell. And what's interesting about this one is that two people are hypnotized. So Miel Yim is already hypnotized and her friend Gracie is trying to get her out of it. But Lopin's henchman, Lightning, comes in. And so Gracie pretends to be, you know, already entranced. But the curious thing is, when Lightning uses his ability, Gracie is actually the first one to show that she is under his ability and you see the whites of her eyes. Then it is Miao Yim. Let's watch. Number seven is Torg Hypnotizes Mary from The Dark Tower from 1943. Now, there is multiple sequences in which he uses this coin to hypnotize her, to help her to get over her fear of the uh, act that they're trying to do on the trapeze. The scene that I like in this that really stood out to me, though, was the scene later when she is in the circus tent and she's getting ready to go out for her trapeze act with her husband and to work goes into her area and proceeds to place her back under his control. It is so well shot with the shots of her face reacting and his face looking down on her that it's just such a great sequence that is so well shot and so well acted by Herbert Lom um, and Anne Crawford. So, yeah, um, this one is my number seven. Yes, Mary, I've been watching you. And you are tired. You wouldn't go on if you had your choice, would you? Well, I... I suppose everyone... Would you? Turn and look at me. It is true, isn't it? You would like to rest. Yes. Tonight, on the trapeze, you will be tired. Yes. When you are swinging with your head downwards, ready to catch Tom, you will be so tired. Say it. Tired. You will not be able to hold him. Remember that. Yes. You must remember. I must remember. Now, Mary, you will know nothing of this talk, will you? Nothing. Poor Carla is taking a nap when Lady Dorwood comes in. But before Carla could even say anything, she is under Lady Dorward's vampiric control. But what's cool about this scene is that when she lifts Carla up, there is a shot that's 360 around Carla, Lady Dorward, and her lover that comes in. Her life will be yours. Yours. Her youth will pulse through your veins, my darling. Replenishing. Restoring. Take her. Take her. Number five is K-1. 
Catherine hypnotizes Lucia from The Road to Rio from 1947. Now this sequence, Catherine takes advantage of Lucia being asleep and gets her to slowly wake her up and anyone who knows how that is, you're going to be a little bit disoriented as you're waking up. So she uses that to swing this pendant in front of her. And after a little bit of watching it, she begins repeating everything that Catherine is saying to her. And it is such a wonderfully shot sequence. It always stood out to me. And uh, that's why it's on this list. Listen closely, child. You love Sherman. I love Sherman. Those two men you met tonight, they're stowaways. They're stowaways. I hate them. You loathe them. You despise them. I hate them. I loathe them. I despise them. Sleep, child. Sleep. Dracula hypnotizes Diana. This is a pretty cool scene because Dracula sneaks in to a room behind Diana and when he closes the door and she hears the latch when he locks it, she starts to scream, but he stops her before she does. And the cool thing about this whole movie is that it's silent. Number three for me is Rajani hypnotizes Samoa from Sandokan against the Leopard of Sarawak from 1964. Now, this one's not a very well-known film, but it was a collaboration production with... Uh, British actors and uh, Indian actors and it is a really good action film on top of um, this sequence that I'm about to point out. Samoa portrays herself as a strong badass woman and uh, Rajani tells Sir Charles who wants to try and get Samoa to agree to marry him. Um, he tells him that a woman as strong-willed as Samoa will not allow him to directly control her. She will fight it. So he arranges this little thing where Sir Charles comes in and starts talking to her and distracts her. 
And while she's distracted and talking to him, Rajani is standing in the doorway, working his magic. And he has this mental ability that he does to these alligators um, in this sequence before this. Um, and she's so defiant in talking to Charles that she is fighting, you know, him. And then suddenly she just stops talking. And it's such a well-shot sequence, especially at the end, how this strong, fighting woman ends up responding to Rajani. You believe that? Then you do not know Sandokan. I would like you. Because if you really knew. Are you ready, Samoa, to help the leopard of Sarawak take back his throne? Answer! I'll do anything you tell me to do. You can be sure now. Samoa will obey you. The Mad Monk who is none other than Rasputin. And we all know who Rasputin is, right? So in this story, Rasputin is in love with Sonya. Just kidding. He's actually trying to get to the stars and Sonya is her lady in waiting. Get it? Just trying to get through her. And so in this scene, they have a romantic episode. And after Rasputin then hypnotizes Sonya, because he's trying to get to Elixi, the Tsar's young son. So he's trying to show Boris, the doctor, his power. And he's trying to injure the son so, you know, he can come in and look like the good guy and save the day, so. Now look into my eyes. Your eyes? My eyes. Look deep into my eyes. Think only of me. Shut out all other thoughts from your mind. Think only of me. You will listen to what I tell you. Listen and obey. Some of you probably already seen this one coming, but number one is Makato hypnotizes Marie Eaton from The Devil Rides Out from 1968. Now, this has been on, uh, not, not this, this sequence, I've talked about this sequence on uh, the uh, top ten um, villains for Hammer. Um, and I've talked about this scene in the uh, top 10 hypnotic villains. So it's not a surprise that this sequence is number one on this list. Um, the way that Makato just sits here and talks to her, and very much like the previous um, sequence in which Samoa doesn't realize that Rajani is there and she's defiant against Charles. This time she, you know, Marie knows that Makata is there. And she has been warned that he's powerful to watch out for him. But she's confident that she's strong enough against him. And she finds out she's wrong. Because as she listens to him talk, as he just casually has a conversation with her, she just slowly, slowly falls 
into a trance. And uh, this scene is just one of the best scenes of this kind in any film ever made. Um, definitely the greatest hypnosis scene in film history, in my opinion. As your mind now is succumbing to mine, for as you look into my eyes and listen to my voice, your will is leaving you. Although your eyes are open and you seem aware, you are in fact asleep. Your faculties dormant, your ability to act and think subservient to my will. My will. Mrs. Eaton, my will is yours at this point. You cannot function in the least unless I say so. Can you? Answer me, Mrs. Eaton. No. Anyway, what do you guys think of me and Miracle's list here? Do you agree with some of these placements of these? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video and this format of me having a guest host in here with me, um, let me know and we'll do it again, you know. And anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Do not forget to hit that like share and subscribe button because it really does help this channel out a lot and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos all right tomorrow will be my birthday video hope you will join me for that one thank you for watching